was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains, pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they'd done. Oh yeah, well we're on the same page when it comes to corporations. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. I'll make a communist of you yet, Dance. Don't you worry about it, mate. Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she's anything but calm. A regular pint size Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb, baby. Adam Bomb. I want her in my wigwam. Excuse me. I believe we were talking. We were indeed. I was just stopping to welcome back the ladies and gentlemen watching at home dance. You wouldn't understand. Never mind. Welcome back, everybody. We're in Arcjet Systems with Paladin Dance, trying to get some bits to fix his radio thing so that he can call Star Command or whatever. Um, but uh, aside from that, it looks like something destroyed all these protect drones. I'd appreciate drums. it if you said something. Looks like we missed the party. You're making a foolishly hasty assessment. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. Uh. What's the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. Synth. Isn't that the same as Robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. Sounds like you're scared of sense. There's a measurable difference between being frightened and being prepared. Now, let's move out. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll keep an eye out for the bogeyman then. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweet and retreat. Not sure I like this, to be honest with you, mate. Nothing personal, but following a big stompy Looks tank like man around is not really See my style. Find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. That's some uh That's some nice reconnoitering you're doing there. What have we got? Lab analyst terminal. Lab control terminal. Collapsed corridor. Very good. I am guessing we're going to want to uh, not pick up that dinner fork, but uh, use one of these terminals here, I suppose. Let's have a look. Reminder, password security. Well, isn't that bloody convenient? This is your annual reminder that all terminal and mainframe passwords are to be changed on a monthly basis. Failure to do so may result in automated changes the suspension of network privileges and or disciplinary action. Please do your part in keeping Arcjet's, Arcjet systems secure. And by disciplinary measures, it probably means firing squad, because these corporations were just freaking charming. Like that. Uh, according to our records, your terminal password has not been changed in three months. For security purposes, your password will now be reset. Your new password is 9 Yankee Bravo 3 November. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. All right. So if I just hop over here, oh, alarm clock, nice. There we go. App controls. Accessing prototype interlink. Error. Unable to establish a connection to the prototype. Please contact a technician for for assistance. All right. And open the door. I don't think over there. Look, DL. Is That's a bit different. Alright, let's say I believe you now. Stay dead. Curious. Hello? Whoa. Oh, you know Synth component. Institute laser pistol. I 
recommend against hostile acts. Oh my god, what the fuck are you doing, Dance? Have you ever heard of the phrase discretion is the better part of valor? Apparently not. Why does a synth have bottle caps? Well, why does the synth looking like that have bottle caps? Shock baton. Mm. Jesus, look at these things. I'll be back. I'll, 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 I'll. Are these, are these any good? Damage 28. Accuracy. Just look a little bit Fisher Price, doesn't it? But whatever. What's in a synth component? Plastic. Oh, is that it? Oh, never mind then. Why are these multiple targets you're on about? They look like they're all dead to me. Ooh. Hello. Um. Must best if I may choose which of Jesus Christ, this thing is massive. What the? Hello. Oh, that's just dance, okay. <laughs> what the f- This is ridiculously huge. The scope's a nice touch, but what the f fuck? Oh, it's- It's just a bit of shrubbery. Okay. Whoa, hello. Tesla arc. Oh, definitely disarm that, thank you very much. This- oh, This gun is ridiculous. It's just, I can't see anything on my right-hand side when I'm using this thing. It's, it's so dumb. I, I just, no thank you. This is much more my style. Right, what do we got? Expert lock terminal. Expert lock safe. Can I? Don't think I can pick this. No. Chemistry station. Um... Damn it, I don't have anything I need now that I've got the perk. I don't have any of the ingredients. Oh, well. Oh. Nice. Duct tape, lab scale, sealed wonder glow, yep. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Very good. Spinning. Spinning. Oh. It's like a little submachine gun. This doesn't take off half the screen, so I'm actually a bit happier with this, actually, to be fair. Alright, yeah, I'll take that. Um just need to Can I be a I can store a lot of crap in you, can't I, Codsworth? He's like a big old trash can with a jet engine on the bottom. Not really a jet engine, though, is it really? Like a Bunsen burner. <laughs> It'd be a bit noisier if it was a jet engine, that's for sure. Armor workbench, weapons workbench. What can I do with this thing? All sorts of stuff with very high tech components and perk requirements, but hey, whatever. I'll be a happy little savage and just use this for what it is right now. Microscope, get in! Have compromised most of the facility. This desk fan, oh, all the good shits in here, man.
Come on. That's it. All right. Remain vigilant. We've got turrets ahead. Oh, brilliant. Let's draw a bingo. Energy weapons permanently inflict plus five percent critical damage. Great. CEO's tip. Are you gonna be able to deal with that? Is that not a problem? Very good. I'm just gonna read this. Mars Shot Project. No, oh my god. Six months for the United States Space Administration for that finally approved ArcJet as the contractor for the Mars Shot Project's propulsion and communication systems. Having my team start working on the XMB booster before we secure the contract was a gamble, but it looks like it's going to pay off big. We have a lot of details to hash out with the agency, and we have a lot of work ahead of us. But I think this contract will be finally put. Will finally put Arcjet on the map. XMB booster team. Blah 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 blah. Military contracting job. Promise the USSA with the booster be ready. At least a year before their July 2078 launch date. And terribly interesting here. And economic stuff. Problem with the XMB booster. So I started the public relations campaign for the Mars Shop Project and ArcJet Systems is finding itself caught right in the middle. In the last week, I think we've fielded 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They all want to know when we're delivering the XMB booster. Uh, can't believe it, but Dr. McClellan's team finally solved the XMB's weight problem. Do, 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 do. Test fire the booster right after the new year. Photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMB booster's first test firing. And what else? Two weeks since the accident before the XMB booster's test firing event. Somehow, a photographer managed to wander past security and into the engine core a few hours early. Dr. McClellan was running a quick test on the booster, letting it run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration and burned the photography into ash. <laughs> Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'm having... Brent take care of the remains. After all, that's why I hired him. If word of this accident goes public, we'll be shut down. I may as well put a for sale sign out front. All of the unrest overseas making the USSA nervous about proceeding with the Mars Shop project. They're telling me that they have to delay a year or more, depending on what happens. If that's true, we'll just have to make due with the proceeds from the deep range transmitter contract, which we've already completed. Trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here, but it's made getting harder and harder with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully our government will work things out and we can all get back to work. Yeah, or not. Well, I mean, we couldn't have had uh, anyone other than the communists landing on the red planet, after all. That just wouldn't be done. It's just not acceptable. Oops, sorry. What else have we got then? So they were building bits for space rockets here then, it seems. Solid fuel boosters anyway, by the sounds of it. Would you need solid fuel boosters? On a... Uh when, you, when you've got, like, atomic fusion energy and shit like that. Sweet. Oh, that was lucky. Bloody hell. Uh, repair order. Install a new terminal in Reinhardt's office. He's demanding some serious security on it now that we've got the Mars shot contract. Okay, now I'm convinced Reinhardt is paranoid. He's just put me in an automated security. He's put me... He's just put in automated security turrets in the main hallway outside his office. You'd think we were out working for the military instead of just the United States Space Administration. Yeah, they're just practically the same thing, mate. Um, 
Got McClellan constantly bugging me that the mainframe keeps running out of space. I've ordered some more storage from our supplier, but we're rapidly running out of room down here for any more consoles. Might have to talk to Reinhardt into letting us spill. Talk, yeah, talk Reinhardt into spilling a spill over into the office sections. Blah blah blah. It's very dull, really, isn't it? Brent came down, and had me pull all the video surveillance records from the mainframe just last month. He asked if we wanted to make him backups, but he just grunted like he always does and demanded the originals. I have no idea what he's doing with them, and I don't want to know. I don't want to know. As long as I keep getting a paycheck, I could care less. Deactivate the turrets. You see, Dance? You see, this is... This is why we proceed with caution, quietly. Instead of going in all guns blazing, you fucking idiot. Oh, robot repair kit. Very useful. Very, very useful. Yeah, he wanted the footage, mate, because he wanted to cover up the fact that they just incinerated a journalist. As I said, charming corporations, this lot were. Absolutely lovely. Would it be vindictive of me to say they got what they deserved? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, God. Come here. Hey. Got more stuff for you. There you go. Alright, where's Dance wandered off to? Never mind, we'll catch up to him. Dog. Please, dog. Behave. Hello. What do we have here? A slightly pointless shortcut is what we have here, apparently. Oh, there you are. Engine course ahead. Should be our final stop. Well, my superiors would have been really impressed with all this industrial espionage I'm doing if it weren't for the fact that I'm doing it 200 years late. Oh well. <laughs> what the fuck? Bloody hell. It's a bit bright, isn't it? This would be the rocket booster then. What are you doing, Dance? Hey! Dance. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. Keep moving. We'll talk later. All right. Well, you know. Oh yeah. Right. More spotlights. That's exactly what we needed. Ugh. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core, but it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now. Find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Good grief! That's a bright light. This area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. Store auxiliary power to engine core. Right ho. Right. Show off. Where's Codsworth? There you are. Psst, Miss Sally. Hold. Just so, Mum. You're not very stealthy, Codsworth. It's nothing personal. Junk jet. Hell yeah. Um. Interesting. I'm now over encumbered. Dog meat. This is going to be a very Psst. odd request, but could you somehow carry this junk jet by any chance? Apparently, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Engine stuff. I could disintegrate Paladin Dance if this. Should I? Probably shouldn't, should I? But I really want to try it. I don't. I just. It probably doesn't work anyway, right? Oh. 
Warning. Power loss detected. Engine core is offline. Good. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. What we got here? Jeering, leering, laughing, mocking, taunting. Oh, he graduated all right from high school. It's fine. I'm sure he took shop class. Oh, look, he's reading the science mags. How cute. Ha, ha, ha. Shop class. Let's see them make this in shop class. My marvel of engineering. The finest in weaponized refuse acceleration. My beauty. My junk jet. They'll see. The engineers with their suits and fancy degrees. Come Monday morning, they'll all see. Uh-huh. If you ever catch me saying things like, oh, they'll see, I'll show them, you've got my permission to commit me to a mental institution. I'm in. I'm getting lucky with these, aren't I? Main power off. Auxiliary generators off. The engine core is operating on emergency power to conserve energy. All non-critical systems and operations have been suspended. Start auxiliary generators. Engine core power restored. Uh oh. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Um. 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 The command accepted. Commencing five second countdown. Dance, you might want to get out of the way, mate. Just saying. Four. Just maybe head into the corner or something. Oh dear. Two. Well. Let's say I didn't warn you. Sometimes today would be nice. Well, better late than never, right? You're right there. Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of ninety six point seven percent. Optional assess Paladin Dancer's condition. <laughs> You're right there, Codsworth. Well, I did... Oh, my word. I did tell you to move. Oh, my God. Are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. Good. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. I tried to stop it, honest. It was just, it did it automatically, and I was frantically pressing buttons. I was, it was just, it was, it was, it was horrible. Really, there was nothing I could do. Going down. Not a lot of room in here, you know. Well, come on then. Hop in. Or are you just going to jump down the shaft after me? All of you, seriously? Whatever. See you later. Going up. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, no, we do want to go up, don't we? Oh, hello. Hurrah. Oh, as if by magic. Oh shit, we left Codsworth behind. Paladin dance. No, 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 no. For questions now. We have to keep moving. Yeah, we do. Bye, dog. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> uh. Well. Oh dear. Hey, come on. 
Come on, let's go. Come on, it's rough. We may have a problem here. Hey, I'm moving out. Oh, what? Yes. Hey, I'm all in. On me. My pleasure. Let's go. All right. I hope that's the last of them. Seriously? I don't see the device anywhere. Fan out and check this in for me. Yeah, I will. I just. I think Codsworth is broken. Hey. Nothing would please me more. Follow me. Straight away, Mum. Mum, please tell me we won't be here long. I, well, it's up to you, isn't it, really? What a, up. What a disaster. Whatever. It's like Laurel and fucking Hardy sometimes, I swear. Or at least you two have made it up here. Codsworth seems to have just sort of had a malfunction. Shall we say. Deep range transmitter. Uh -huh. Let's get out of here. Take the service elevator to the surface. Yeah, just a minute. Begin to, oh, right, we've already done that. Codsworth, if you were here, I could give it to you, but you're not, are you? You're being a stubborn little bastard and staying down there for some reason, you silly robot. <sighs> She would like to take that with me, but I don't think I can. Damn it! You better follow us out. Come on, then. Oh, dear. <coughs> Excuse the sneeze. Hang on, I just noticed. Come on, dude, seriously. Thank you. Alright. Well... Toodles. Going up. Um. Oh, there we go. Hello, dog. Codsworth. Bloody Codsworth. Oh, I swear. Let's move out. Told me it found something. He better have found Codsworth. Better, even better, he found vodka. All is forgiven, not me. Mm, what can I get rid of? What am I doing? Insomnia, Peckish, Thirsty. Let's have something to eat. In fact, I tell you what. Let's have some red stag. Where is it? There we go. There we go. Right then. Whoa, study. Excuse me, paladin dance. Well. Yeah, well, I mean, it, 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 could, it definitely could have gone better, that's for sure. Um, not going to argue with you on that one. I suppose that's it, then. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep-range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Mm -hmm. Not bad.
Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster. But you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. <laughs> if you say so. You've got my mind. You've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? Uh, I don't know. It's a big decision. So I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. It's impersonal, but... Not sure I'd fit in. Oh my word. Right. Not bad. I kind of like this, actually. I think I might just... Uh, wait for... Yeah, let's get rid of this. Still overweight, aren't I? Damn it! Whatever. Let's have some whiskey. Uh, while we try and figure out how to get Codsworth back, that is. Um, well, like he's going anywhere just yet, but... Um... Yeah, this is annoying. Uh... Oh, sorry, dog. Yeah, I bet... Guess we better go down there and try and fetch him. Ah, man. This is very irritating, dog. I have to I have to say it's very irritating indeed. Better still be here. If he's buggered off back to bloody What's it called? Sanctuary. Oh god. Well that was lucky. Um there we go. That's a lot of dead sins. <laughs> That's a lot of dead sins. <laughs> uh, Codsworth. Uh, isn't there somewhere else you'd rather be? A park, perhaps? Or generally anywhere else but here? Yes! I would! You hey, are causing problems, though. You, yes! Yes. Of course. Right behind you, Mum. God's sake. Not to worry there, pup. Your mistress is in good hands. Oh, la di da di da da diddy dumpling. Codsworth, you infuriate me sometimes. Going down. But you're a little difficult to remain angry with, it has to be said. Come on then. Well done, dog. In you come, come on. Come on. For God's sake. Going up. Most irritating. I should favor favorite this thing, shouldn't I? Do 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 do. What do we want it on? Four, I guess. There you are. Good. Okay. Right, chaps. We need to get moving. You're making this take twice as long as it should do right now. It's very, very inconvenient. Look, dog meat's whining now, okay? This is your fault, Codsworth. Come on. Oh. Going up. <sighs> Next time I should push you into the elevator, actually. That's a good idea. Alright. 
Still here, Dance. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood. If you want it. <laughs> what would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command. And I'd expect you to follow orders. Yeah, no more mercenaries. But... This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back. Ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. So, what do you say? Uh, I still want to think about it. Suit yourself. You know where to find us when you're ready to make a decision. Yeah. I'm not sure, Dogmeat. I'm really not sure. I feel like he's not telling us the whole story when it comes to the Brotherhood of Steel. They seem like an odd bunch. Something I don't trust about them. Uh, anyway. Is my Radstag meat worn off or something? What's going on? Oh no, it'll be the bourbon, won't it? Godsworth! What's up? Oh, really? Oh dear. Oh, what have we got here? It's my old rifle. Oh, sorry, that's my old rifle. That's the... You know, we don't really need these anymore. So I tell you what, I'll take those off you. You can have these. Um, yeah, and I'll just drop them. Don't need them. They've been replaced. All right, well, okay, so... Um, well. Lovely weather they've laid on for us tonight, isn't it? Where the hell are we? I wonder if we can make it back to that... Um, that red rocket station. Or maybe I should just go back to the police station. Um... Let's just go, you know, east for a bit and see where we end up. Because this is bloody intolerable. So intolerable, I can't even pronounce intolerable. Whew. I could set up camp, actually. Having said that. I don't know if I've got any bits and bobs to actually make a camp with, though. That's the problem. Might be worth a try, instead of you know wandering off into the into the middle of the night with it raining and everything. There we go. All right, what do we got? Can we put a fire out? Well, not with, not well, not while it's raining, and also we don't have any wood, so. Create a new settlement. Workshop location determines the centre of the build area. Up to ten new settlements can be created. Well, sleeping bag. I don't even have any cloth. Oh god. Plastic. Right. Codsworth. I need my junk. Get over here. Heads up. I need some of my junk. Uh, let's see. It just occurred to me that wood is actually a very difficult thing to find. Oh god. Um, well, anyway, that, that'll do for now. All right, we gotta, we could, I can make a tent. Well, you might call it a tent, I suppose, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> and a sleeping bag, which requires cloth, which I do not have. Um, cloth, cloth. Cloth. 
what wooden plastic? Uh, I need cloth. Oh, um, it's pre-war money. Pre-war money. Ah, right. Uh, Codsworth? Codsworth. Uh, radiation. Codsworth. Hello. Where the hell have they gone? There's dog. There you are. Where do you keep running off to? Yeah, I'm not. Not right now, Dan. Hey, Codsworth. Look alive. Can I be a. Do, 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 choke. Free war money. There it is. Okay, there we go. I'll just put it in here. That <laughs> makes way more sense. Okay, yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> Although it's. There we go. That'll have to do. Scrap it. Portable generator, right? Huh. What the hell? That's that's a, a very very big tent. That's not really a tent, is it, to be fair? That's just... What even is that? Good grief. Anyway. Oh, I can just scrap that tool rack for a little bit anyway. Right. Is there a door? There we go. Alright, you can stand outside all night if you like, but uh, I'm going to catch some... Some sleep in here with, with this gentleman. Thank you for the cancer. And the vodka as well, actually, I couldn't think of it. Got a dog, baby, I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she's anything but calm. A regular pint size, I had a bomb. Had a bomb, baby, had a bomb. I want her in my wigwam. She's just the way I want her to be. A million times.